Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Sherry Kim, and welcome to the first night of the Piano League Piano Star International Competition Grand Finals. Tonight, I'm co-hosting with the Piano League's Executive Director, Brian Lin. Good evening, everyone, or good morning if you are in the other, on the other side of the world. Um, it's, this is a night that we've been all waiting for for a long time, and we are finally here. I'm so excited to listen to all um, of our 20 uh, amateur division grand finalists. So before we start the competition, I'd just like to quickly um, go over the rules um, in case there are new audiences uh, tonight that haven't watched uh, our competition before. So here we go. So first of all, the videos um, tonight, all performance videos have been verified that they were recorded in the three weeks leading up to today. So um, we made sure that it was all newly recorded. And performances over the time limit will um, are cut beforehand within 30 seconds um, of the portion exceeding the time limit. So if the time limit was two minutes, um, the most um, we will give them is two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so you might see some incomplete uh, performances and that's because of the time limit. If the video in, because we live in the 21st century, technology uh, difficulty happens. If that happens, uh, our rules is we will replay the video. So if, if there's muting, if there's um, anything like that, if, if the internet cuts off, we have to uh, replay the video from the beginning, so, all right? Yes, mm -hmm. all right. So now we're gonna talk about voting. Okay, so each judge will be given uh, placement votes. Uh, these are just rankings like first, second, third, fourth to the grand finalists in each group with no ties. Um, the judges will not be giving any points or scores. Uh, that was done in the previous round, um, but you know this round is just for um, ranking first through fourth. Exactly. And uh, instead, we will give each placement vote a point value. Um, so first place will get 10 points, second place will get nine points, eight and seven and so on. You can, as you can see on the screen. Um, and um, obviously the pianist with the highest total points will become the gold medalist of that group. Awesome. Okay, so we do have rules for any uh, types that we have. Um, there are there could be a two-way tiebreaker. And if that happens, the contestants uh, voted higher from two of the three judges will win. And in the very rare instance that we have a three-way tiebreaker, uh, a different, and then if each of the judge prefers a different contestant, then uh, we will actually be using executive votes from the competition's directors to decide the tiebreaker. Exactly. And uh, in the history of our competition, this has never happened. And that's how rare that is. But in case, uh, in the case that we have three judges and each one, uh, everyone has a different preference, then uh, this is this is our way of um, tie breaking it. So now finally, um, as we all know, we are a competition of transparency. So all votes from all judges will be released uh, to the public. Great. All right, so now we are going to introduce our three esteemed judges. Uh, every, um, even though every performance has been pre-recorded, uh, our judges tonight will be watching and commenting in real time. Uh, for the first time, actually, in our competition history, our grand final judges will be following the same format as we did in the final round, where we, uh, the judges will be commenting on each individual's performances. That's right. Uh, we've gotten so much positive feedback uh, on the uh, on the valuable uh, verbal comments from the final round, which is the last round uh, that we decided to share the knowledge of um, these uh, prestigious judges uh, for our grand final audience as well. So that would be something that I would uh, really look forward to. So I'd like to uh, start introducing the judges um, for our audience. Our first judge tonight will be Alan Wu. He currently teaches at the University of Georgia as a lecturer in piano. He's also previously held positions at Elizabeth City State University and Peabody Institute. One highlight among his many performances throughout the US, um, Europe, and Asia is his Lincoln Center debut at Alice Holy uh, Hall performing with the Julia Orchestra. So uh, welcome and thank you for being here, Alan. 
Hi there. Hi. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to uh, introduce our second judge, which is Inessa uh, Sinkovic. Inessa is on the piano faculty at piano, uh, Manhattan School of Music's College Division since 2014 and the pre-college division since 2008. She is a laureate of the 12th Arthur Rubinstein International Piano Competition and has won many other first prizes at other international competitions. So please welcome Inessa. Hello. Hi. All right, and finally, our last judge uh, tonight is Michelle Kan. Uh, Michelle is um, on the piano faculty at Curtis Institute of Music, where she holds the inaugural Eleanor Sokolov Chair in Piano Studies. She is regularly featured as a solo recitalist and chamber musician, where she specializes in Florence Price's music. Uh, welcome, Michelle. Hello. Thank Hi, you Michelle. for being here. All right. So um, now we now that we have all of our judges, it's time to begin um, the amateur division competition. Um, so I'd just like to ask our judges: Are we are we ready to to begin the competition? You ready? Maybe give me a thumbs up. Perfect. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, so. First, uh, we have group A, ages seven and under, and our first contestant will be Olivia Lee from Fort Lee, New Jersey, USA. And she'll be playing Fairy Tale, Opus 27, number one by Dmitry Kabalevsky. So let's uh, please welcome Olivia Lee. That was a beautiful performance by Olivia Lee. Um, unfortunately, one of our judges, I think two of our judges are having some difficulty um, uh, hearing the sound from the video. So what we're gonna do is we have to replay Olivia's video. Uh, we will be taking a short break uh, to figure this out. So we'll be right back.
All right. Uh, really apologize for the delay. Uh, we're, we're trying to figure out why uh, the sound isn't playing uh, for some of our judges. So what we're going to do is we're going to just test things out a little bit. Uh, so please, please bear with us. Uh, we are we're going to test. Uh, we're going. What we're going to try to do is play the video in another way um, and and see if our judges can hear it. So um, if I can ask our production manager if you could uh, play uh, Olivia's video again, just kind of play the beginning uh, a little bit. If if we can hear even the sound of it, the background sound, then we know that it it works. Okay. So again, I apologize to our audience. Uh, you have to bear with us a little bit uh, when we figure this out. Okay, that's a test. So, okay, so I see a thumbs up from one of our judges. And uh, what about the other one? Did you hear anything? Let me. Perfect. Okay. So this time it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to replay uh, Olivia's video in this way so that every judge can hear it. All right. Awesome job, Olivia. And now what we're gonna do is invite our judge, Alan, up to provide a little bit of comments on Olivia's performance. So Alan, what did you think? Oh, one sec, I think your audio is, there you go. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Um, like you, I really enjoyed this performance. I thought it was very beautiful that Olivia played. Um, it was very poised, very sensitive. And uh, she really captured the cantabile quality uh, in the piece. Um, if I were to, you know, make me maybe make one suggestion in uh, the phrasing, I think uh, it's important to maintain direction uh, in all of the repeated notes uh, to support a longer phrase 
then that way, um, uh, perhaps there could be a more linear take uh, with those repeated nodes. And also maybe then uh, any build up to higher dynamics could feel a little bit uh, with a longer trajectory, if that makes sense. Uh, but those are just uh, some small details. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Alan. All right, and now we are gonna move on to our second contestant. Her name is Virindra Songta before from Bangkok, Bangkok, Thailand, playing William Gillock's Valse Etude. Please welcome Virindra. and we had to cut that performance short because of the time limit. Um, I would love to hear what Anissa has to say about uh, Varinja's performance. So Anissa, could you share uh, a few thoughts with us? Of course, I think it was phenomenal performance. Such a virtuosic, such a young age. I want to congratulate. Um, uh, and uh, um, only one small comment perhaps in the middle section if uh, you could also try to sing it when you practice just sing it and then follow your but it was magnificent congratulations thank you thank you for the suggestions uh, Inessa. thank you so much so let's move on to the next contestant um, we will have Sylvia Chu um, from Princeton Junction New Jersey uh, and she will be playing Daydreaming by Timothy Brown. So everyone, please welcome Sylvie.
Great job, Sylvie. That was beautiful. Now we're going to invite our judge, Michelle, to give a little bit of uh, comments on Sylvie's performance. Oh, sorry, one sec. You're muted still. There you go. Thank you, Sherry. And Sylvie, that was gorgeous, sensitive. Your playing was and, and um, how you, you were really trying to be and, and, uh, and move with the music so thank you um uh the only way is that uh sometimes your pedal is just blurring a little bit of um making harmony so just be careful changing the pedal cleanly uh, as the harmonies change and your melody was so beautifully phrased at times it was i would lose a little because of the other you know voicing issues where maybe your left hand might be a little too loud and with the all the way through so just little things but i loved your sensitivity your beautiful pianist thank you so much michelle awesome so now we are going to move on to our final contestant in amateur group a her name is Catherine Zhu zhang from sharon massachusetts usa and she'll be playing prokofiev's <coughs> in C major over 12 number seven um, and it's nicknamed the harp so please welcome Catherine. Thank you, thank you, Catherine. Um, and now I'd like to bring back um, our judge, Alan, to share some of his thoughts on Catherine's performance. Go ahead, Alan. Uh, uh, well, I, okay, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a really great performance of this piece. Um, I'm a really big fan of this work. Uh, I thought, um, uh, what was really brought out well was the contrast between the sections, kind of the lyrical uh, surrounding sections and the more playful, almost sarcastic staccato section in the middle. Um, my advice maybe for uh, just that opening lyrical section is that we have those kind of harp-like um, uh, accompanimental figures in the right hand. Um, and I think uh, because of the nature of the 
melody in the left hand, which is so often in quarter notes, uh, maybe uh, it would be beneficial to uh, kind of hide um, kind of each downbeat of the right hand so it's kind of more just in uh, almost elusive texture that's, you know, more harp-like as the uh, nickname suggests. But overall, I really enjoyed that performance uh, and congratulations. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Well, that's a wrap for group A. Uh, we will then move on to group B, where, Jerry, you want to introduce the group B contestants? Yes, definitely. All right, so we'll just go right on into group B with our first contestant. His name is Superkit Payakso from Bangkok, Thailand, and he'll be playing Debussy's Gollywog's Cakewalk. So please welcome Superkit. All right, and that was super good from Thailand. One aspect that I like about our competition is that we bring truly uh, contestants from all over the world. And we have always seen uh, contestants from Asia uh, being really active uh, in our competition. So uh, we really want to, uh, I'm really encouraged to see that. Um, now next, I would like to bring Anissa uh, in to talk about super uh, performance just now. I think it was a wonderful performance. What I loved the most was so much energy. Your rhythm was excellent. Your rhythmic drive was unique, was superb. And I could hear every single note very clear and 
very clear for that. Uh, uh, you followed what composer wanted uh, in terms of every single. Maybe, maybe the one small comment is uh, you, you could create even, even more contrast. What is the story telling you? And what is composer trying to express even more dynamic range in the piece? Bravo. Wonderful accomplishment. Thank you for the comments, Anissa. And all right, so we will go to the next contestant. The next contestant um, in Amateur Group B is Jessalyn Ivanka, Ivanku Wu. Uh, and she will be playing uh, Michael Cosmos by uh, number 153 um, by Balok Bartok. So uh, everyone, please welcome Jessalyn. Wonderful job, Jesslyn. All right, so we're gonna bring up Michelle to give some comments on Jesslyn's performance. Wonderful playing. That was just full of so much excitement and uh, rhythmic and a very tricky uh, piece in, in Bartok's set and uh, complete control and confidence and, and um, you know, you know, bravo on your performance. It was very exciting. The only real suggestion is just to, to uh, take, you know, with something like this, uh, it's really important to find as much contrast as possible. So I think that there are, does indicate, you know, some dynamic shifts that I can't quite catch. The thing is that there's, it would be even more exciting if you can really, really do the dynamic range that Bart the rhythm down <laughs> all right thank you so much and bravo awesome thank you so much michelle all right we will go on to our third contestant now her name is belinda zhu from columbus ohio usa and she'll be playing aaron copeland's the cat and the mouse please welcome belinda Thank you. 
Sorry about that. Wonderful job, Belinda. Great performance. All right, we are now going to bring up Alan to give us some comments on Belinda's performance. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, I thought that was a terrific performance. It was had full of drama. It was exciting. Um, I loved also, especially actually, uh, Belinda's attention to details uh, in terms of dynamics and articulation. I thought that really added to, uh, you know, this kind of dramatic aspect of the piece. Um, I think to kind of enhance on that trauma, uh, two things that maybe Linda could think about. Uh, next um, would be uh, listening to those silences. So I think that rests and silences, especially if there's a fermata, you know, those can also be very dramatic. This giving the audience this idea of, you know, what's going to happen next and really listening uh, to that um, and making us kind of sit on the edge of our seats a little bit. Um, I think also, maybe this is a little bit more personal, but you know, the more piano moments um, that are uh, kind of dreamier or a little bit more timid in my mind, I guess that's the mouse, you know, um, I thought that uh, maybe that could be exaggerated by taking slightly um, even a slower tempo. Uh, but that's just maybe a matter of style or taste. Um, but yeah, uh, that was really thrilling performance. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Alan. Okay, so now we will move on to our final contestant of Group B. So our final contestant, his name is Matthew Gu from Seoset, New York, USA. And he'll be playing the first movement of Piano Sonata in C major K330 by Mozart. So please welcome Matthew. Thank you. 
All right. Thank you, Matthew. And of course, we had to cut that short again because of the time limit. Um, so right now, we would like to invite Anissa uh, to say a few words about Matthew's performance just now. So would you please share with us your thoughts? Of course. That was quite a treat. It was quite flawless performance. As beautiful as uh, I, I hear this piece myself, as Mozart should be. And it's so difficult. It was very sensitive, sensitive to all harmony changes. Uh, perfect pace, uh, uh, technical stability, and uh, really uh, uh, brought out all the diff different characters also. Uh, wonderful, wonderful performance. Thank you, Anissa. Thank you. All right. And that is the end of Group B. And we will directly go to group C now. On to group C, where we have contestants from ages 12, uh, sorry, ages 10 to 12. Our first contestant from group C is Emily Meng from uh, Connecticut, USA. And she will be playing uh, Chopin's Polonaise in C sharp minor, opus 26, number one. Uh, everyone, please welcome Emily.
Great job, Emily. And now we're going to bring up Michelle to give us some comments on Emily's performance. Wonderful job. Actually, one of my favorite holidays uh, since I was younger. Uh, um, you great character and um, emotional energy to this performance. So they, there was a lot of beautiful uh, phrasing that you did and, and beautiful things that you did throughout. You give one comment. It really, really it just having to do with kind of your pacing. I felt that the tempo got um, within sections and I think it was partly because you were trying to use bravado and it actually was just affecting uh, uh, tempo changes in, in sections where it makes sense. Um, the funny thing is I actually felt that the middle section could just generally be slow give yourself more space in that uh, beautiful middle section there uh, to be just remember that um, in the main theme and the opening that you know let the Roboto fit into that uh, again, again wonderful performance thank you awesome thank you so much Michelle great we're now going to go move on to our second contestant of uh, amateur group C his name is Datarat Vanish Kopchinda from Bangkok, Thailand, and he will be playing Concert A2 Number no. 2, Nomad Raiden by Ron's List. Please welcome Datarat. And I'd like to invite Alan back to provide some comments on Tetheris' performance. 
Yeah, what an exciting Nomen Reagan. Um, I thought uh, Fat Wright really showed a lot of virtuosity. It was a really brilliant performance. Um, I wonder maybe <clears throat> with this piece, you know, um, it, brilliance is of course very welcome, um, but I think uh, also maybe to express the more, you know, the sp more sprightly uh, gnome aspect of it, um, perhaps um, it could benefit, the performance might benefit a little bit from uh, staying within that softer dynamic just a little bit longer and delaying uh, those huge crescendos so that they're, you know, just that much more dramatic, that much more effective. And in the same way, I think um, to kind of build on that uh, also any of that virtuosic, brilliant passage work um, could benefit from, I think, a little bit more direction as well, you know, shaping uh, within all of those rapid notes, I think would just add an extra dimension to this already um, very exciting performance. Um, but uh, congratulations to Thetar's very difficult etude um, and uh, very impressive performance. Thank you, Alan. All right, now up next, we have Bao Han Ho. Uh, and he is from Dublin, Ohio, and he will be playing uh, Moskowski's A2 in G minor, Opus 72, number two. Everyone, please welcome Bauhan. Wonderful job, Bahan. We're now going to bring up Inessa for uh, comments. Bahan, truly wonderful job. Uh, such exciting performance, very strong technical command, excellent um, rhythmic stability, and overall uh, well structured and well built in terms of formal design. Um, this is anxious piece, uh, uh, and it's, it's trying to bring um, in music. And I think uh, if you try to explore passage work, so you start so after each passage and go up and up and down, some waves, and you could create more sense of uh, anxiety in music. And explore more dynamic 
music range. You could play it softer, also some moments uh, with those qualities. And the last thing I would say, uh, in your chords, in the right hand, left hand, try to sing them more. Approach your forte sound a little bit differently. They're more noble and more rich and deep. wonderful performance. Again, Awesome. Thank you so much, Inessa. All right. Now we're moving on to our final contestant of Amateur C. His name is Ihan Zhang from Norman, Oklahoma, USA. And he was going to be playing the third movement of Piano Sonata Number no. 23, an F minor, a Passionata by Beethoven. Please welcome Ihan. Thank you. 
Thank you, Bao Han. I'd like to invite Michelle for some quick comments on Bao Han's performance. Wonderful performance. Um, this is in peace, uh, every movement, honestly. Um, and I was uh, really, really impressed, you know, your your sound, your, your sound production, your, your control and uh, every, your uh, personality that you put into this performance. I mean, it, it takes last movement and I felt that you were putting everything you could into it. So I appreciated that. Uh, say, say that the only kind of sort of general comment, I, it's tricky with this movement because it, it it's really, there's a lot of waves of, um, it has to have this, this constant direction. Otherwise it becomes, um, you know, with the da -da 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 -da, it's very repetitive anyhow. So we have to constantly be looking at, looking at sections, uh, you know, as a whole. And I think that's what, what you could benefit a little bit from. At times it's a little bit too boxed and, you know, there's this section. I don't always feel like you're looking at the bigger lines um, as well you are doing a lot of good things so really really bravo on that but that's what i'm missing at times is that really needs that so anyway wonderful performance uh, uh congratulations thank you so much for that comment uh, michelle so that wraps it up for group c and next up we have group d which is ages 13 uh through 15. the first contestant for group d will be clara Zhang. Uh, from Chicago, and she will be playing Chopin's Ballad Number no. Three. Please welcome Clara.
Thank you, Claire, for your performance. That was wonderful. We're now going to bring up Alan to give some comments on Claire's performance. Thank you. Yeah, I thought there was a really beautiful performance of Chopin's third ballade. Um, what I kind of especially appreciated about it was this kind of um, just uh, this, basically this long line, this structure from the beginning to end, you know, never felt like um, uh, Claire was really, uh, never felt quite so section by section as sometimes this piece often does. Um, I think maybe uh, what performance could benefit from uh, is basically a, maybe a little bit more generosity um, in terms of uh, any chance to broaden or this kind of expansive quality right now. As beautiful as it is, um, it seems a little bit like the pacing is a little bit too much um, uh, the same all throughout. And I think uh, to find a more personal sound and to really discover, you know, um, the performer's own story, you know, the ballade aspect of um, Chopin's piece um, would just add that much more to, you know, a powerful performance of this. But yes, uh, beautiful work, well done. Thank you, Alan. All right, we're gonna go on to our next contestant. His name is Andre Batista and he's from Louisville, Kentucky, USA. And you'll be playing Liszt Sonetto 104 del Petrarca. Please welcome Andre.
Thank you so much for that performance, Andre.、Um, and I'd like to invite Anissa now for some comments on Andre's performance. Beautiful performance, very mature playing,、um, especially for your age. You、uh, have beautiful tone. You brought out、uh, uh, piece. And、uh, all the lyrical qualities were there, and many、uh, harmonic colors and harmonic changes.、Um, truly, the only thought、uh, and suggestion that I uh, uh, can make, perhaps, this in general.、Um, sometimes it feels like you cut them、um, bars where they could go longer into. Eight bar longer phrase,、um, and also be considerate of rubato. What rubato really is is、uh, essentially, but it's、uh, taking time and compensating. And it often felt that you, and not compensating. Compensating meaning moving forward a little, little bit. So if you only、uh, slow down and slow, slow down, you you break a little bit the form.、Uh, Um, Dragon.、Uh, so be careful with that.、Um, otherwise, enjoy your playing. Bravo! Thank you. Thank you so much for that comment,、uh, Anissa. All right. Up next, we have Freya Pang,、uh, and she will be playing Chopin's back roll in F sharp major, Opus sixty. Please welcome Freya.
Freya, that was wonderful. Great job. And now we are going to bring up Michelle to give Freya some comments. Wonderful performance. Your age to do such a mature piece um, and and be able to do it. Um, I thought that there a lot was you had um, really great um, uh, contrast of character. I actually also want to say uh, in, in that realm that you were there to get more colors in this piece. Uh, to begin with, um, it starts, you know, so it should sort of be an image of uh, this boat, uh, you know, gently on the water. Water, um, and it's sort of rocking, you know, with the figure in the left hand, the, the the piece. And I felt that it was already just like dry was going. So in other words, I think that you can maybe just like rethink that image and the piece just sort of rock in this melody. Da -da 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 -da. So I, I would just be careful. And then uh, in the middle section, um, I think you could explore uh, uh, nostalgic, maybe, you know. In other words, I would love to see even emotions that come across clearly. It just, uh, and some of that can be done with their dynamics too. That's definitely in the range. But it's also having a story to tell. Know, know that this is a story and there's different, and tell us something unique for each of those moments. All right, but thank, thank you for a great performance. Thank you so much, Michelle. All right. Now we are going to be moving on to our final contestant in Amateur Group D. Her name is Sherry Fay. She's from Bellevue, Washington, USA. <coughs> and she'll be playing the first movement of Beethoven's Piano Sonata Number no. 3 in C major, which is Opus 2, Number no. 3. Please welcome Sherry.
All right. And that was the last contestant of Group B. I'd like to invite back Alan for some comments. Well, I hate to leave off on a deceptive cadence there, but um, <laughs> I thought, nevertheless, it was a um, very sensitive performance of this Beethoven sonata. I think Sherry approaches um, piano and music with a lot of care, um, and it's really great admirable attention to detail um, in dynamics as well as articulation for the most part and just markings in general. Um, <clears throat> for me, maybe this, uh, I guess maybe my take on this sonata, I, I think uh, an important part to consider is that um, Beethoven marks Allegro con brio. Um, and while I think Sherry captures the lyrical aspect of the piece very well, I think uh, I'm a little bit missing that conbrio element to it. And in that way, I think perhaps it could benefit from a slightly faster tempo, but n tempo aside, I think it's more um, for me in terms of character, maybe a more, um, you could say like caffeinated approach to the music. Um, <clears throat> but that, that was one observation I had. Um, another is just, uh, I think uh, Sherry phrases everything very beautifully. Um, one thing to keep in mind maybe is that the um, lower register, notes in the lower register uh, don't always mean um, the low point in the phrase. And um, I think Sherry does that a lot. And, and in some ways it's very musical, uh, but in some other places, perhaps it comes across almost uh, as a mannerism or just a formula rather than uh, something that's really considered with the music. Uh, but otherwise, I thought it was a really great performance of this sonata. Thanks. Thank you so much for uh, those thoughtful comments. And All right. Hey. Yes, now we are going on to amateur group E, our very Last final, group. yes, our final group. Uh, this is ages 16 to 18. And our first contestant, uh, her name is Joy Kwan, and she's from Somerset, New Jersey, USA. And she will be playing Beethoven's Sonata Number no. 24 in F Sharp Major, Opus 79, uh, 78, uh, and she'll be playing the first movement. Please welcome Joy.
right. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Sherry, will you help me with um, who who is uh, going to be next? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the wrong part of the script. So is it OK? So my production manager has uh, <laughs> told me that it will be Anissa. So <clears throat> sorry. Anissa, would you please uh, share some comments on uh, that performance right there? Of course, I really enjoyed this performance. I, I thought it was well paced and, and um, uh, uh, well shaped uh, passage work. And this is a, it's a difficult sonata. It's shorter than uh, the rest of the many of uh, so to say sonatas. But uh, nevertheless, it's uh, it has this escaping quality, of hard to to understand sometimes. And I think um, you really captured this. Uh, um, you had uh, all the um, changes, and contrasts, and you were quite in control in terms of uh, technique between uh, different elements, and also in terms of if you're rhythmic control, which is all because um, it has to deal with different note values, uh, triplets, and so it's, it's always a challenge to hold the, the tempo together. Uh, my, uh, per perhaps in some moments you could look for um, more, more contemplative, less busy, so not all moments sound so busy and exciting, but uh, performance, bravo. Thank you, Anissa, for the comment. And next up, we have Lucy Kim, the second contestant from Goofy. Uh, and she is from Irvine, California. And she will be playing Butterflies and Bobcats by David McClinton. Please welcome Lucy.
Lucy, that was so wonderful. Congratulations. Now we're going to bring up Michelle to give us some comments on Lucy's performance. Fantastic performance. This is not a piece I know. Um, and really amazed by everything that you brought to this performance. Um, amount of colors and different textures that you brought uh, you know, really mesmerizing. And I really, I, I understood the difficulty to be able to be different extremes and, and you really did that very well. So I really don't have much to say. I was at a performance. Uh, the only thought I might leave you with is at times in where it's calmer and there's a little bit of a, you know, melody that we can follow, uh, lyric, um, there's also, again, he He's always ha he always has these different uh, layers of uh, of uh, you know layers of sound with like these different motifs and out. So at times, times just remember to kind of balance what, what it is you want us to hear as well. It's, it's so busy and the music is busy that it, it's hard to follow uh, uh, from one thing to that certain time. That's great, but at other times I think that there are longer lines that you you can sort of um, and to find ways to balance what's happening around that. But um, again, bravo. Really. Thank you so much, Michelle. Wonderful. All right. Now we are going on to our <coughs> third contestant. His name is Lero Wong, and he's from Davis, California, USA. And he will be playing the first movement of Piano Sonata Number no. 23 in F minor, Opus 53 by Beethoven. Please welcome Lero. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lero, for that wonderful performance. Now I'd like to bring Alan back to say a few words about Lero, Lero's performance. Yeah, I really enjoyed that performance. I thought it was very dramatic. Um, and I think one of you know, the um, most difficult aspects of this movement of the Sonata, I think, is, is just to um, do everything within a, a stable tempo and, and to keep that tempo stability. And um, I think what is really impressive about there was performance is that um, the, just the constant temp tempo relationships between themes. Um, <clears throat> I also really uh, enjoyed um, the sense of phrasing throughout. Uh, my one observation is maybe um, within that, um, uh, if the piano, the sections in piano or the phrases in piano could maybe stay in that lower dynamic, um, I think that would kind of elevate everything, you know, the forte moments to be even more dramatic, even more, you know, passionate, I guess, with this uh, title of a passionata. Um, I, I felt like um, in those more intimate moments, the dynamic perhaps arose too much, especially with the uh, repeated notes. Uh, and with that said, I think that same sense of uh, phrasing, same sense of direction uh, could be more consistent in the louder forte passages as well, um, which is of course very difficult to do uh, when one is playing uh, with a bigger dynamic, um, but overall very impressive performance of a very difficult Beethoven Sonata. Thank you, thank you, Alan. All right, and last but not least, we have our final contestant of the evening, um, Ella Sumanaseni, and she is from Bellevue, Washington, and she will be playing Chopin's Scherzo number three. Please welcome Ella.
Great job, Ella. Wonderful performance. We're going to bring up Inessa to give comments on Ella's performance now. Wow, that was magnificent performance. I thought that was level. Bravo. Uh, um, you had flawless technique, very clean, excellent tempo, and uh, uh, also tempo control, control of texture, range. Really beautiful, beautiful playing. Um, with two comments. One is um, regarding middle section, your phrasing and, and perhaps your rubato. Um, those are very repetitive, phrase, you know, to repeat in maybe five, six times with uh, uh, passage work. Try not to play them all exactly the same way. Try to to create long throughout the large phrase, uh, um, or try to create some kind of, uh, in other words, try not to stop every time in the same place or so stretch it every. Um, and another comment has to do with coda. Uh, it would be even uh, dramatic if you could build it more dynamically. You were a little bit like fortissimo level sometimes for too long so try to start from softer and really enjoy the performance and you're so young and this was really mature performance awesome thank you so much Inessa. well that basically wraps it up that's our 20 grand finalists in the amateur di division and we had so much fun listening to all these performances we did indeed we will now give the judges some time to finalize their votes. And in the meantime, our grand finalists have prepared a very special presentation for all of us to watch. Please take a look. Hello, my name is Bao Han Hao. I am 12 years old and I've been playing the piano for 70 years. Other than playing piano, I also have other hobbies. A hobby I have is playing hockey. If you didn't know, hockey is a game where players wear ice skates and they try to skate as fast as possible to score the other team, seeing a stick and a puck. I really enjoy playing hockey because it brings me and my friends together. We get to practice and play games. Another hobby I have is playing the violin. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'm Belinda and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I enjoy playing soccer games with my friends because I like the excitement. I am also a recreational tennis player. I fenced and have participated in a fencing tournament. I enjoy biking around my neighborhood. In the summer, I swim and zip line with my neighbors. I have danced ballet for three years and enjoy the time with my classmates. I play cello in the garden. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Bukit. I am uh, 9 years old. I live in Bangkok, Thailand. I am in year 4. I became international school. I know piano since I was 2 years old. Besides piano, I love to learn about coding. I start learn coding 2 years ago at Global Lab, Thailand. What I like about coding is to do anything in the class to control the robot. I like reading a book. I'm reading dog man book every day.
Hi, I'm Andre Bautista. I'm 13 years old and I'm a freshman at Manual High School. Quality video quality is really bad, and um, I need to let's let's try another way to play this because uh, it wasn't like this um, in our testing. So I'm gonna try another way to play this. My name is Bao Han Hao. I am 12 years old and I've been playing the piano for 70 years. Other than playing piano, I also have other hobbies. A hobby I have is playing hockey. If you didn't know, hockey is a game where players wear ice skates and they try to skate as fast as possible to score the other team, seeing a stick and a puck. I really enjoy playing hockey because it brings me and my friends together. We get to practice and play games. Another hobby I have is playing the violin. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'm Belinda and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I enjoy playing soccer games with my friends because I like the excitement. I am also a recreational tennis player. I fence and have participated in a fencing tournament. I enjoy biking around my neighborhood. In the summer, I swim and zip line with my neighbors. I have danced ballet for three years and enjoy the time with my classmates. I play cello in the garden. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Bukit. I am uh, 9 years old. I live in Bangkok, Thailand. I am in year 4. I became international school. I know piano since I was 3 years old. Besides piano, I love to learn about coding. I start learning coding. Two years ago at Robot Lab Thailand. What I like about coding is to do anything in the class to control the robot. This is a robot. I need to do it. I'm reading a book. I'm reading dog man book every day. Hi, I'm Andre Bautista. I'm 13 years old and I'm a freshman at Manual High School. Here are three fun facts about me. For the first fact, I have two siblings. My brother plays a violin and my sister plays a cello. All of us play instruments, although none of our parents had any musical experience. The second fun fact is that we went from zero dogs to four dogs in under a year. We have two golden doodles, Dolce and Fluffy, like a tongue and cotton, and a cat of blue named Velvet. My third fun fact is that I love eating. We're, right now we're in my pantry right now. This is where I got all my snacks, my chocolates and everything. But my favorite part is our stash of Korean ramen. Please continue supporting the piano store. Bye day. Hi everyone, my name is Claire Zhang and I'm 15 years old from the United States. In my free time, I love to make jewelry, so today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite pieces. Here is the first bracelet I ever made. And here's one of my more recent ones. And I also make earrings. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. And these are some I wear when I perform. And I also make rings. These are my favorite type of ring to make. They each take about 20 minutes. And the last type of rings that I make are these. And they go with my sweater. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Hi everyone, my name is Ella and I'm a junior at Forest Ridge School of the Sacred Heart in Bellevue, Washington. Today I wanted to show you my piano trio, which I play the piano for with the Seattle Chamber Music Society Academy. We're playing the Shostakovich Piano Trio Number no. 2 and you'll get to meet my violinist and cellist and hear some clips of us practicing for our final performance on December 11th in Nordstrom Hall at Benaroya. Uh, hi, I'm Charlie Lee and I'm a freshman and I'm the cellist of this piano trio. Hi, my name is Tao Hyun. I'm a sophomore at Skyland High School and I'm the violinist of this trio. Hi, my name is Emily Mo. I just turned 12 a few days ago. I was born in Minnesota and I now live in New Canaan, Connecticut. In my spare time, I like to create artworks like these. I like to make colored pencil artworks, pencil drawings, and paintings. I am also a synchronized swimmer. I practice four hours a day, four times a week. Here are some of the medals and ribbons I have earned recently in competitions. This summer, I went to the Junior Olympics in Florida for synchronized swimming. My team earned 11th place out of 32 teams. I'm very proud and I hope to win more medals and ribbons in the future. I also enjoy reading. This is one of my favorite books, The House of, the House of Hades, along with Out of My Mind. I am also a violinist. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Freya. I'm 14 years old and I live in Illinois in America and I'm super happy to be a part of Piano Week and some other interests that I have outside of music are traveling. I really like traveling and I've been to a lot of really interesting and cool places because of doing piano like I've been to London and I've also been to Osaka, Japan and I've also been to Honolulu, Hawaii and a bunch of other places I've been to New York City and LA and so many amazing places and it's really awesome all the opportunities that I've had because of doing music and another thing that I also really like are cats because cats are better than dogs and this is Cookie and he's my cat and he's just the best cat ever and he's so cute and he's being really nice and cooperative right now to sit next to me so that's nice and Cookie is a really good cat so and aside from cats and traveling I also really like to um, cook especially I really like cooking ramen noodles a lot of like Asian dishes and like Chinese Japanese dishes I really like trying to cook like noodles and soups and stuff and it's something that I kind of picked up over quarantine like when I was really bored and I just cook like random ramen noodles. It's a recipe that I saw on the internet, so that's really fun. And lastly, another thing that I really love is reading actually, because reading is really fun. You just kind of have to find the right books. Usually the ones that like your teachers give you from school are really boring, but once you kind of start to explore how many books there are in the world, it's really interesting. So yeah, and thanks for listening to my performance and a little bit about Hi everyone, my name is Jessen. My family and friends call me Jesse. I am 9 years old and I'm from Surabaya, Indonesia. When I have free time, there are three things that I like to do. First is cooking. I enjoy good food and I like to learn how to make them. I also love swimming. I swim whenever I'm free. It makes me refreshed and warm. Under the sea, under the sea. Out in the sun, they slave away while we're devoting full time to floating under the sea. <laughs> and last but not least, I love to travel. My favorite destination is Bali. I just love everything about Bali. These are some photos while I'm in Bali with my family. You have to go to Bali if you haven't been there. You'll love it. That's all about me. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Joy. I'm 16 and I'm a junior from New Jersey. Something I like to do in my free time, although still music related, is to play chamber music with my friends at my local youth orchestra. I also play viola and this is us playing a Schumann quintet last spring. and I hope that everyone has a safe and happy holidays. Bye. Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm a second grader at Heights Elementary School in Sharon, Massachusetts. I'm seven years old. I also attend Davidson Young Schoolers Gifted Program. I go to Rhythmic Stars Gymnastics Academy, and I like gymnastics because I like the operatas, which are ribbon, clubs, hoop, rope, ball, and floor. I also like listening to the music. While I'm not playing piano or doing gymnastics, I like to read and write. My favorite books include Wings of Fire and Harry Potter. I also published three books at school that I wrote myself. I also like to play board games with my friends. My favorite board games are Kaden Jr., Ticket to Ride, and Monopoly. Bye! Happy Holidays! Hello everyone, my name is Lyra Wang. I'm 16 years old and I'm in 10th grade, going to school in Davis, California. Besides playing the piano, I also like to play chamber music with friends. I like to do creative writing, and I also like to get outdoors and go hiking sometimes. My favorite subject in school is physics. Another thing is that I like to take care of my dog. I also like to bake desserts at home. Because there's barely any rain in California, I like the rain, and walks in the rain make me feel very peaceful. Thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Lucy, and these days I am preparing for my behind the wheel driving exam. So. In order to keep myself and others safe on the road, I have a student driver sign and I am practicing merging lanes and also parking next to a curb. Bye! Hi, my name is Matthew Gu and I am nine years old. I live in Long Island, New York. This is my twin brother Milo. He is 16 minutes older than me. And this is my little brother Marty. I really like camping because I can enjoy nature and spend time outdoors. I really feel relaxed in my spacious tent. We usually invite friends but sometimes we don't. My favorite cat food are barbecues, hot dogs, and s'mores. My best camping memory was when I was in Boy Scout. The campsite we went in had baby guns, archery, and fishing rod. One thing I dislike is I have to deal with lots of bugs. Otherwise, camping is amazing. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello, my name is Olivia Lee, and today I'm going to tell you about my pet birds. They are very musical, and whenever I play piano, they sing along with me. I named them after piano competitions, and after piano, I'll get a new bird and name it Penny.
The green bird's name is Coffee, and the white bird's name is Mirabelle. Coffee's favorite piece is Chopin Mazurka, and Mirabelle's favorite piece is Cacciatorian Toccata. With their company, practicing piano is much more fun. Hi, I'm Sherry Fay. Greetings from Bellevue, Washington. Aside from playing piano, I love doing sports, some of which are swimming, running, playing golf, and recently doing jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu is a form of martial arts that originated from Brazil. Uh, I would love to share a clip from training with everybody. <laughs> Maybe we were faster from better. I am seven years old. I like to play the piano. And when I'm not playing the piano, I'm playing the violin. I especially like to play violin with my friends. During my free time, I also enjoy reading. But what I love the most is to write books. I hope I could publish them one day. Hello everyone, my name is Pave Sakharadwani Kapchinda and I am from Thailand. I am right now studying at Singapore International School of Bangkok. Apart from playing piano, I also enjoy playing basketball. I find it satisfying hearing the sound of the ball going into the hoop. Anyways, playing basketball is quite risky since it has a chance of injuring my fingers. But I still enjoy playing both things. Here are some clips of me playing basketball. Drawing is also one of my favorite hobbies. It calls me down and relaxes me whenever I'm bored. And it also makes me happy. Thank you! Hello, my name is Yihan and I come from Norman, Oklahoma. Outside of piano, I play the violin in my school orchestra. I've also been doing lots of fish keeping. It is super fun and rewarding to take care of my fish. I am currently keeping neon and cardinal petras as well as some piggy cards. I have also taken care of a betta fish who would jump up to my finger to get food. I have a YouTube channel where I feature all of these fish as well as recordings of me playing the piano. I play lots of video games in my free time, mainly Minecraft and Roblox. That's it for that. Thank you for watching.
All right. I hope everyone enjoyed those videos. This is all. This has always been my favorite part of yes. the entire show uh, every year, and I just love. Uh, I just love seeing this other side of our contestants. It was so uh, good. <laughs> yeah, and I, especially like when Olivia said that she would name his her bird uh, after Piano League. I'm, I was really touched by that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that means uh, we will begin the result announcement. We have finalized the result of tonight, uh, and this is always the ex most exciting part. But before we do that, uh, we at Piano League would just really like to thank our three judges tonight. Um, it is 11 p.m. on Eastern Time, and um, our judges have worked so hard. Uh, and I really, really, really appreciate um, all three of your times and efforts, and especially your wisdom uh, that you shared with uh, our uh, audience today. Yes, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it for being here. Thank awesome. you, thank you. All right, and uh, with their permission, I'll dismiss the judges now. And we uh, will go on to, oh, forgot. After, um, before, again, the judges are not, not the only ones that I wanted to thank tonight, of course. Um, there are so many people behind the scenes that I like to thank, the parents and the guardians, and of course, the piano teachers. They, with every successful piano kid, there's always an entire team uh, behind them, as we all know so well, you and me, Sherry, uh, as we grew up uh, with a strong support team as well. So um, sincere thanks to all the parents, uh, teachers, for nurturing and, you know, nurturing your, your kids and um, your dedication um, and love to each and one of them. Yes, big thank you to everyone that Brian has mentioned. Uh, we also want to um, give a big shout out to our, our very own Piano League team for all the hard work they put into uh, putting this competition together for you guys. And, um, you know, we also want to give a special shout out to our production manager, Alfredo, for just running this whole uh, you know, event tonight. We really could not have done this without him. Um, and so just want to say, Thank you so much, Alfredo. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, and it, it takes so much uh, work. Uh, it takes an entire team um, uh, to, to run a, a virtual competition uh, that involves a live round and um, uh, a, a live stream. And then, of course, we have later a, a Carnegie recital, which we will talk about later uh, uh, at the, at the pri uh, later, yeah, at the prizes. But yes, really, really thank you to all the team members at Piano League. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, I, I wish you could all be on screen uh, right now to, to receive the thanks, but, but uh, thank you, thank you so much. So, all right, so we have the first award that, uh, that we're announcing is actually a teacher's award. Um, we, every year we have a Piano League Teacher of the Year Award, and it's awarded to the teachers who has the most number of students that won first prizes in the final round. So, um, and it's as uh, if, if you've been following our our competition for the past three years, you know that the final round first prizes has become harder because um, it, you one requires a 9.5 and over uh, to receive a, a, a first prize in the final round. So uh, let's see who it is. Congratulations to Qi Zhang for winning the Teacher of the Year. And of course, we'll follow up uh, with an interview with him to get more um, insight from him on how, uh, how he was able to produce such excellent students. All right. So on to the main awards tonight. I'm sure you've been waiting. I'm, I'm keeping the suspense as much as I can. But of course, it's, it's late and we want to... Uh, 
to, to let you guys know. Of course, I and I, I did mention that this year, new this year, that we will have a Carnegie recital um, for all the gold and silver medalists. So if uh, if you want gold or silver, you're automatically selected for the Carnegie concert in June of next year. Um, if you are not a uh, gold and silver medalist, you still have the chance, but we just have to figure out uh, the space after all of the gold and silver medalists confirmed with us. And even if you were not a grand finalist, uh, if you scored a very high score in the final round, you will get a chance um, to, to, to get a call uh, from us, uh, get an email from us uh, for this recital. Yep. Uh, and this uh, Carnegie Hall performance is going to be uh, on June 11, 2023. So it may seem like a long ways away, but it will it will happen uh, a right lot sooner than you think. Yes. Um, but yeah, we are very, very excited to meet you all in person. That is going to be very exciting as that has never happened before in our competition history. Correct. So anyways. That's a nice result. <laughs> yes, here we go. All right. The gold medal for amateur group A goes to... Congratulations, Varindra. You are our gold medalist for Amateur Group A. Now we are going to announce all of our other winners. So we have our uh, silver medalist as Sylvie Chu. We have Catherine Jiu Zhang as bronze medal. And lastly, Olivia Lee for honorable mention. Congratulations, Congratulations. everyone. All righty. Let's move on to Amateur Group B. So our gold medalist for Amateur Group B goes to... Congratulations, Matthew. You are our gold medalist for Group B. And now for our other winners, we have silver medal going to Belinda Zhu, bronze medal going to Jesslyn Ivanka Wu, and super crit Payakso will get honorable mention. Congratulations, Group B. And now we are going on to amateur Group C. Our gold medalist for Group C goes to... Congratulations. Congratulations. I wish I could see the reactions to the to the results. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. And now our other winners. Our silver medal goes to Datrad Vinichkovchinda. Our bronze medal goes to Emily Meng. And our honorable mention goes to Bao Han Ho. Congratulations, everyone, in group C. Okay, moving on to amateur group D. Our gold medalist goes to. Congratulations, Andre. Congratulations. Awesome. And now our other winners. Our silver medal goes to Sherry Fei. Our bronze medal goes to Clara Zing. And lastly, our honorable mention goes to Freya Ping. Congratulations, everyone, in Group D. And last but not least, our Group E winners. Who is our gold medalist? Let's find out.
Wonderful. Congratulations, Lucy. Congratulations. And for our other winners. Our silver medal goes to Ella Sumonaseni. Our bronze medal goes to Joy Kwan. And lastly, our honorable mention of Group E goes to Liro Wang. Congratulations to everyone in Group E and also to all 20 of our grand finalists, you know, to have made it this far after, you know, several hundred applicants. We are just, um, you know, so proud of you to have made it this far and to receive these awards. Um, so thank you for your participation and for, you know, making our, your new videos and performances. I'm sure it's, it wasn't easy to do all of that. So wonderful job and congratulations to all. Exactly. And, and I re obviously recognize some of the contestants from previous years because I know some of you keep uh, coming back to our competition. Uh, I'd just like to say really thank you. And of course, some of our winners tonight uh, has been uh, former contestants. So uh, really, really uh, thank you for, you know, uh, the dedication again for uh, your dedication and love for the, uh, the piano. Yeah. So with that said, that concludes tonight's uh, competition. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, we will uh, be streaming a, another professional division uh, of competition tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern or 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So be sure that you tune in and watch that as well. Yes. Alrighty. So, you know, we're, we're about to end this, but before we do, um, you know, we just wanted to point out that if there's anyone you know who has missed our live stream tonight, well, you can always rewatch our recording of it on Piano League's YouTube channel, where you can watch it as many times as you want. Um, and I would, you know, it would be great if you could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all of our social media pages so that you can um, continue to receive updates from us. Right. And that's basically it. That is a wrap for 2022. Can't yes. We've made it here, Brian. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. All right. all right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And as we always say here at Piano League, happy practicing. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.